Hey, nice to have you back on the channel, I hope you're doing great. Today uh, I would like to show you a trick that I normally use mainly for percussions, but we will go a little bit further and uh, also check uh, if you can do a little bit more of it. I built like a little library of samples where I just have like Foley recordings that I like recorded here and there over the time. Um, in a space with a lot of reverb, so we have like the sample like this. It's already grid gritty. Let's make it complex. Oh, Rob. So that's actually, um, yeah, you can hear that. Just a graffiti dose, or how you call that in English. And what we will do is we put uh, on our MIDI channel a simpler, nothing else, and then. Um, you take one of the samples and you go to slice mode. So he take all the transients. You can, uh, by the way, zoom in. Take all the transients here and put them on notes. And then we're looking for an up pitiator here. Zack. And if you now play that thing, you see that? He play that. You can make here the volume louder. And then if I hold another note or something, or more note, then you can also change stuff here on the rate. Let's say we like what we're playing here. I think this is cool. Let me just record it in. And then what I do normally, so that's the system that we build now for percussion generation. I just make an audio channel, <clears throat> then I go to the audio form. You can make that on on the I.O. button here. And then you go for X turn in and you use just um, the simpler as an input. So when you like that, uh, you will record that. So you can just do that. Nice phasing. Imagine we put that left right hand now. Haha. <laughs> That's a really good stereo trick, by the way. Just play not really the same, but the same element, and then just pan it really left and right, and don't play with fucking utility uh, tools. So you get a really nice stereo image. But we don't want to do that now. We just make that MIDI notes um, gone. And make another channel to record after. Um, and then we use another sample, like this one here. And this one is uh, glass and dirt. We have that inside here now, and we can play it. You can also pitch down or pitch up. So we're playing more the last or in the middle. And then, of course, we have to transpose to really actually pitch it up or pitch it down. But yeah, you see, we're using grains. And here we can do something like 16s. make more like straight something like this. Let's record it instantly by playing. That's okay. And then we have them all ready together.
Cool. Uh, next one is, I think, just like, oh, wait, we close them first. Yeah, just, I don't know, plastic. That sounds cool, I think, when we play that in like eights. Let's record that too. That's cool of the delay, I think. And have a cool stereo panning. Um, of course, let's put that on an extra channel. And because I like different colors, we do that too with this one. Okay. <clears throat> Done with this beautiful thing here. Put it like again inside here. Let's just play that. You can also find just tones and what we have here and something like this loopy Okay, so we cut the samples away, and then um, I have generated a lot of cool loops that together can be really nice, I think. Here, save for some reverb. some delay that's really dry here's some reverb if we take some preset pack from me here some drums in. Okay, here techno is not really working, so I do more like something like this. samples that we created, they have like a lot of dynamic and I group and put a drum bus on it. And press the shit out of it or something. Of course you also can pan them a little bit different. So let's say this is cool. This one can be more on the left side. This one more on the right side. Sounds more like this, I think. Yeah. Mm. 
Nice. Yeah, that's actually what I wanted to show. So the idea behind that is you don't have to figure out constantly which MIDI notes you will paint and which rhythmic you want because the sample, they give you kind of velocity change already. And then you have also the possibility with the sequencer to get like really interesting polyrhythmic and stuff that you normally maybe would not do by purpose. Um, and that's uh, my philosophy to give you a lot of random nice numbers sometimes to just say, oh wow, that sounds cool. I keep that to generate like new ideas and not constantly like the, the safe space area where you feel like ah, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's all I wanted to share this time. I a little uh, marketing thingy if you have some time. I released a preset pack. The last two things that you saw that I put in uh, is actually that pack. You can buy them on my website and that helps me a lot to make more videos and have more time because I have to work less. So yeah, if you're interested in that, check them out. And uh, of course I have a Patreon, become part of the Hypnotic Hats community where we like share a lot of knowledge in the chat. So yeah, have a nice week and we see you soon. Bye.